Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack. City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, no scroll. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it off!
Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night, and it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could've. city with what he was packing probably what happened body disappeared from the morgue sight unseen and then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit know that we're just talking out your ass again once you've seen all I've seen don't need to know things to know them. people are the same everywhere okay it's coming out your ass well 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 Suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Rather not jump to any conclusions. There's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. Yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy, and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Sheesh, Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Hey V, haven't heard of any cyber psycho attacks lately. 
I think it's time we put an end to our little arrangement. Drop on by sometime. We'll catch up in person. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber cycle. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about? You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? I don't know what I intend just yet. I'm now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? The boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice, as your friend. Just let the case go. You see me do anything? I'm just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be partners. Gotta go get my little girl, anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hahn's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. He wanted to talk. Before the attack, he wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, too. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Hom was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure.
Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. He said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why's Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush-hush? Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? As I see it, Morales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for him. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. I'm sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your informer. The club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then. You looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address. It means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. <sighs> Fuck alone, all of them. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed, broke all my fingers. 
Wasn't here then. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Ugh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. The club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Rhine died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. You gonna take my car? Sure, thanks. good 90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. Must say, you're kinda natural. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Yeah? What's up in the big world? What? You wanna do Uh, what's your problem? I feel good about it. Look at Fugash jumps ass, what's he? You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. And then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about paid up, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scats on scats here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Hater he showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? 
probably thought Brian was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, me. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, chill. Please. <laughs> Jump, clown. Jump! Let's get this party started! Ha ha ha! the streets with you it's downright unsafe got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers i'm a cop what do you think uh, gotta report this okay red queen's race now first i gotta clean up the mess you made we'll meet there This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. Alright! 
give you a real knife! Oh, oh, you smell that! That's the smell of you shitting your cat! Got spotted. Okay. Hang on. Be right there. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up. If it was, it went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one.
find out what they're doing here. I gotta do the talking. You're the detective. But I don't have a... A warrant. What? Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died? Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here the day you die. Joking. <laughs> Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clep here. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done! Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the payup! Who'd you smash it up for? Uh, what's it to you? Oh, I might be able to speed up your payment. The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow scop like that? Want to do a good deed for a change, on a bed. So go fucking buy a bomb of Scopsicle! Ah, oh, too easy, that. And it wouldn't change a thing. I want to feel like I made a difference, you know? So I'll help you. I just gotta know who owes you the eddies. Well, did hold! Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier. Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fucking for the job! Thanks for the help. Ah, shit! V! You okay? My... V! Come on. You hear me? Breathe. Ah. Oh. Thanks for leaping into action back there. No problem. You feeling okay? <sighs> I'll live. What was that, V? You ask me, one heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. It's 
sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. I'm gonna look around some more. Okay. Do what you will. Waste of time as I see it, though. Okay. Let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational, idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Hey, don't drag me into this. I don't do politics or NCPD and her squabbles. Yeah, so what do you do? Let me guess. Whatever brings in the ads, huh? It's typical. I'm not surprised, but I'm not judging either. Looking for a path and place in this damn city. All of us. Yeah, looking for a path and a place, that's right. Great. We understand each other. V, I appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't we'll let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. Oldest, tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. You 
Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Got a BD that somebody spiked. Just gotta figure out who. And that, I think I can do. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. B, no it's a good thing you answered. You got I could eat. probably use your help. Fine, do whatever the probably. fuck you want. Not like you listen Fine. anyway. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. We shouldn't Case delay is pretty too complex. long. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes, and that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did
did we leave off?